Hey everybody, got this funky little contraption here shooting video right now. It's connected partly to my body and in a, it's a stand. And I'll show you the stand another time. What we're going to go through right now is a real quick video. I made a couple of videos you guys have already seen here at Mac Media Studios. Uh, I have not been able to put this foot, this phone down. I have been like Mac all the way 24 years a systems engineer I've had every Mac phone I've had hundreds of them at a time um, I, I've you know I have done everything that can possibly be done on a iPhone you know I mean we've got phones with the special docks you know my phone here and I've got my name, my time, everything is on there. And it's basically, camera's moving, and I know because I'm trying to do two things with one hand. So, that's my camera. I mean, there's my camera. I'm trying to focus in on the phone. So, we've got a new thing here, a new lock screen. Just like you can go into the phone, or you can go into... Uh, your mail, email, or you can go to messaging. So I'm going to show you a couple of these things. Let's just go into the phone, and I open up the phone, and it unlocks the phone. So I go up to it, boom. I'm inside my phone. There's my phone. We go to my keypad. There's my black keypad. If you go up here, everything up the top is black. Let me show you that. So everything up there is black. So if you look on your phone, even when you look at all your themes, this phone has been completely blacked out. Everything on this phone open up in black. Then you got the different colors. You got Nest, green means outgoing calls. Red is of course the missed call, and a blue is a call that I made. So that this is an outgoing call um, that connected. This is green. Blue is the one that I called directly but didn't connect. So you got red you missed, green your outgoing calls, and then you got blue. You know what? I think I messed up. It's late. As you guys can tell, it's 11 o'clock. It's 11.26, my time. So, I have to get back with you on that because I just messed that up because this is a totally different program. I just got this installed and I had to have it. So, I just want to show you that everything at the top is black. And so, if I go inside here and, uh, you know, i got my hue. I can turn my lights on. Watch, I can turn the light on. See, now the light's on inside the room. And if I touch this one over here on the right-hand side, the right side comes off. Uh, I can always go over here and I can dim it. Like this, I can dim the light. Let me turn this one off. Off. Okay, now this is my master. I'll slide it down. Get darker in here. See that? Go all the way up. I got lots of light now. So, more light for video is always better. Or for photos, of course. Uh, but I don't want to show you that. I just want to show you this a real quick thing. Um, we've got uh, the actual flat icons is our this is our basic our I, this is our um, icon theme that we chose to start working with to make it our own and how we actually customize our phones is we put everything on one just one slide the remembers of the days of the first iOS which was like iOS 2.0 something like on that iPhone 2G and Nobody, a lot of people don't know this, but the phones, the very first phones, phones that came out, all they did was go up like this. There was no other, you couldn't slide it to the side like this. There was no sliding. There was no sides because there was no apps. All there was was just stuff that came on the phone and whatever stuff was there, you were able to slide up. Uh, there was some stuff that you were able to, you know, get on there. It was just a phone. 
But as it started signing up, the only reason you knew the phone was jailbroken is that you had the basic stuff right here, and everything looked, you know, the be the way it was supposed to look. And then, of course, um, you couldn't sl slide up and down. But once I were, you know, when I created my the Pimpio iPhone dot com, uh, that whole thing. What I did was is on the phones that you know nobody was doing what I what I I set out to do. Um, today everybody does it. Everybody you know claims it. You know it's all easy. It's all on the internet. Okay, yeah, that's true. However, you know there are people that need to change oil. You know there's thousands of people that change oil, but which person do you go to? You know do you go to Jif Jiffy Lube? Do you go to I mean where do you go? Pep, Pep Boys? No, you go to the people that actually you know that work on these things, and you go to an Apple engineer, which I am, and you're able to show off the phone. So the phone is right here. So let me just kind of show you this. So this is what would happen when, whenever you would deal with the phone. I don't have another stand available. This stand right here. I'm not sure if I can pull it. Oh, I can't pull it way out. Cool. So we'll just show you on the stand over here, so we can get some uh, so kind of see what's going on here. So the phone used to be you just had your own icons that's it that's all you could do so let me clear this up so you could only use the icons that came with the phone you only had you know the one two three you know it was all spaced out that's it now when Joe broke it um, basically what you had to do you would just start scrolling upward because there was no way to go side by side until the iPhone 3G came out and the App Store came out, but before that, the the 2G, the first generation iPhone, the 4, 8, and 16 gigs, uh, you had to scroll up because uh, that's the only way it would go. The actual, um, the way that it was designed, and how Apple worked all the stuff in was still kind of crazy to me and I don't understand the interface but it was new it was fresh but it's it's the whole the whole bevel thing and shiny icons was cool and new at the time and it's just all old news now however it's just where we're trying to do what we can do to change and we believe that this is going to be a change is flat more uh, non skeuomorphic uh, flat like like, like, how can I say, like, uh, um, like vector, like vector images were just, a, they're drawings, but they're precise drawings, you know, they're not just like a kid drawing on it, it's a, it's an actual, you know, graphic design drawing, drawn icons, instead of making them all poofy and fleshy and doing all this stuff here, I think all this is going away too, I, I don't think we need to see an actual book shelf with books on it. I think that that looks cool, but I mean, I just don't see, you know, spending, you know, $200,000 a man hours to get this design of this thing to look like this and to act like a bookshelf. I just don't get it. It could just be just like anything else, you know? I don't know why some books are flat, some books, I mean, books should all be the same size if it's a book it's a book it should be all the same size why are these books different i guess because books are different i don't know i'm going on a rant anyway this is our ours and this is the way it used to be and you just scrolled up and you just saw all of your cracked apps all the applications i put on there all the games that were available you know and this type of swiping wasn't available until the 3g so let's get this out of the way now this phone is, you know, the epitome of what I think that the, the best phone in the world is. I have to my right over here, and I don't think you can see it. Let me see if I can move this. The camera is like so funky. I'll have to show you guys this camera. It's it's actually mounted to me right now, but and I'm able to turn it. Okay, and of course here's my uh, it's my iPad Mini 4G LTE. I got the um, it's called the, um, what is it called? It's called the, oh, uh, shoot. I don't remember what it's called. 
Yeah, you can buy them at the, the Super Case or what the heck was it called? Magic Case? My God, I totally forgot what it was called. Anyway, they used to make, well, they, they make these cases, um, and it was called the Magic Case or something for the iPads. And uh, they didn't make nothing for the iPad minis, so I found one identical uh, to to the one that that I had on my iPad too. And uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll do be doing a review on this this case and I and everything over there. I just want to show you that real quick. Now let's scan back over here. All right, so we got these two blokes right here. We got two blokes. We got the HTC, and we got the iPhone. I'm sorry about my hand being in the way here. I want to get this on film. So we got two blokes. We got this bloke on the left, and we got this bloke on the right. So you turn it on, and you got the nice little Android unlock thing, little thing they have. Uh, and then you got the Android HTC. Right, bam. I got no unlock screen. I go right into my blip feed. And what I'm going to explain to you guys right now, so I can just finish this video, is last year, before the iPhone 5, before the iPhone 4S came out, there was rumors, and I will show you, um, let me see if I can find it up here on the internet, just real quick, I want to see if I can find this, uh, I'm going to type this in live, you know, this was just on the hip right now, I was ready to go to bed. And uh, I want to show you this because it, it will blow your mind. Um, I let's do this. iPhone. iPhone. Uh, designs. So let's look at the images, and I want to find this one phone that I want to show you. Because it looks just like the HTC One, that, and the reason why, as soon as I saw that particular phone, I was like, just, I'm looking for it right now. It, it shows edge to edge, um, the grill at the top and the grill at the bottom. It shows edge to edge. I clearly can't show you these, so let me show you these. Okay, so we got, so we got this one. This was this is one of the ones that I really wanted to happen. This is right at the 3G. Um, nobody saw the 3G yet. No one. Uh, it was just being introduced, and um, but no one. This is like one of the. Uh, this is one of of the iPhones. That that I really want. I was like, my God, if that's the new iPhone 4S or whatever's supposed to be coming out, because they haven't really done anything to tell us really what it was. I thought, my God, that thing's got like at least a four-inch screen. The button flips down right here. Um, I mean, the button flips down right here. It's a whole full screen. It's got like a rubber. Uh, it's come up some kind of type of polyurethane around the back. So it make it like a rubber case at the time that there was a rubber case that was going around that was just like this. But the phone would be, the phone would be out of it, so it would be nice and soft, it wouldn't scratch, uh, you wouldn't have to worry about, um, uh, uh, that's a case, um, you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, it getting scratched up, it would be really soft, hold your hands, won't slide around your hands like all the iPhones do th these days. Um, you know, this was, but this was that 3G s era so let's go back here i'm going to try to find one of these one because it's got to be here um I, there is an exact phone that that someone made that looks identical to the iphone 5 and there it is this is the one that i saw look at this phone that's the iPhone 5 that I thought. Look at that side to side screen. Let me get let me get a little bit more uh, clear in there. So that's the phone that I saw someone make side to side. 
and they designed it and put it in a hand. So it's really it's not real. It's just a you know like a 3D rendering. It's a rendering of a phone that could be. And um, there's a couple of other ones that you know came to mind. Were you able to see the home button up there? Uh, then there was one like this. It's real flat, completely flat. You know, there's all sorts of things it could do. And you had this one showing real th that's how thin it was. That's my, um, that's actually my light on my orange I iPhone 3, uh, iPhone 4S. So these are the kind of designs that I was looking at and I was just like, because, you know, there's got to be something new. You know, with weather at the top. they they got to do something with this home screen. You got all this real estate. It ain't doing a dang thing. So uh, then you got, you know, these two. You know, there, there's been, you know, literally hundreds of these um, phones. But if you look at this phone right here. You look at that phone. And then you just imagine this phone. Look at that. It's pretty much the same freaking phone. So when I saw this phone going on sale, I was like, whoa, no way. Like somebody saw a rendering someplace and said, I'm going to make a phone like that. You know, HTC, you know, came out with their phone. And look at that. It looks, um, I mean, almost identical in the design, the thought of the design. Of course, you know, it's Apple's design. They still got the bottom. This bottom part here would be touch. Uh, you, you would do gestures down here at the bottom. You know, I'm pointing with my finger here. Let me, let me set this down. So this bottom how you know, this wasn't a finished one. I'm, I'm trying to find the one. This one is the one. But this one is the one I was talking about. But the other one that I saw was more refined. Uh, the other one was actually really completely made to look real. So it had the button down here, and it has like a little, you know, a long, you know, long, like elongated here on the bottom. And you, had a, uh, you push on it, of course, and it would be touch though. There'd be no button. It's just touch sensitive. So like your trackpad on a MacBook Pro. Uh, so you, would, uh, so you'd be able to do gestures and tap on it. And when you tap and hold, it's the same thing. You just tap it and go at home. And you have gestures. You can do gestures like by hitting this, it would swipe this. Or you could use this and in game somehow. This would be a little bit taller up here. So I just want to show that. I just want to show the differences in, in the technology that's actually being shown in this phone here. That's actually real. And... I mean, I have not been able to just let go of this phone since I got it. I have, I have, um, Tiny Umbrella has been updated. Tiny Umbrella. So don't, don't forget to update your Tiny Umbrella, okay? So, that's it right there. Let's go back. That's enough shenanigans. shenanigans. We're at 18 minutes now. Okay, so this is Blink Feed. So this is um, where I go every day. I usually pull it down re and restart it, you know, at least once or twice a day. What was this? Uh, Phaser is like a light version of Insify. I don't know what this is. What is this? This is a new, oh, it's where you change all the colors. Yeah, that's the one that I got. Pimping, pimping, pimping. All right, so we got a new, new one here. You got to put there able to put your uh, favorite people inside your info, inside your notifications just slide it down and be able to tap some of your you know grandma mom slide through there bam right there instead of having to go in the thing and find out I don't know so many things are kind of redundant I think there's a lot of redundancy in, in the jailbreak scene that I don't understand I don't understand why we have to have five different ways to get to numbers but I guess we got to, so we do it. All right, so so that's Blink Feet. Another thing I want to show off is the phone. What I like about this, I love this. So I don't know, I don't know, and and I don't want to go look for a, my daughter's number. So I'll just say 
um, C E so it's already right there so C I've already got my daughter's my daughter's face right there and there's Cecilia Berry and I shouldn't have done that so no nobody gets to see her number it's okay she works for me anyway so but that's how it works so you're gonna you have a keyboard that you're able to dial in or you're able to do phone numbers so if I know her number then I will be able to see this and if I go to dialing I'm dialing Chandler I don't even know what I'm calling <laughs> okay so let's go over here to uh, this call history and you got all those nice and cool things and I don't want you to see any of these phone numbers so there's the phone then I got favorites and they got their you know faces there so I can just select whoever I want you know and then I've got I'm gonna go over right here to all the updates these are updated events Then I got my gallery there's no albums there yet threads these are different um, uh, these are all different ones that I send to people like uh, if I'm busy or whatever I'll just send it an actual text message instead of answering uh, and then you're able to see details on the actual person blah 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 go back over here let's go back over to favorites you got the phone you got the contacts so that's there and then we got you know all the people we got all the people there we got all the all the photos in it also groups there's all my groups I love my groups because I can just sit you know all my Apple employees that, that work for me my co-workers my, my clients uh, all my celebrities and sit them and then just send out a, you know a rant whatever I'm sending out an email a text whatever and all this stuff slides up here too and I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff that slides down from the top that is like you just have to have one of these phones to really understand the beauty of this phone. This phone has been very, very well thought out. That's just one little cool trick I loved um, uh, because I was able to call. When I got to the, the message thing, I started playing around with it, and I was like, what's the keyboard for? And it took that in. So I, I put letters in for Ceci or my, or my wife's name, and bam, it came up, and I was like, wow. Then you've got your um, your call right here. I can do this. Call Trini Berry. Yes. I don't think it heard me. Call Trini Berry iPhone. Okay, I think it's just too late for me. It's not picking up. Here, call Cecilia. Call Cecilia Berry. Okay, I don't know what it's doing, but it's not calling nobody, so I don't understand. And I think I probably don't know why I understand is because it's. 12 o'clock and I'm supposed to be in bed so uh, that's just a couple cool things that I really wanted to show off them. I know it's been like 20 minutes but I, I, I just felt I needed to get some more stuff off this about this crazy crazy phone that I am I haven't even touched my iPhone 5 for like six days seven days it's it's crazy oh look at these new Google watches Google Nexus watch concept shows an Android potential. Now, you know, the cool thing is that, that I'm really, really getting into right now about this Android phone, this particular only one Android phone, you know, this phone control my, it controls my TV now, my multimedia center. I have a gigantic multimedia center out in my living room. And I have, you know, subwoofers. I've got speakers everywhere. And this thing I, it has an infrared um, chip in it so you're able to like point it towards any TV and it'll turn on 
and I'll be showing that little demo you know a couple of days um, I'll show you that there's and there and it's like I believe that all of the uh, really really cool stuff that that's going on oh you can share all these things I mean there's nothing that's not shareable or you can't it, this phone does everything and and I'm really upset that Apple just doesn't um, I don't I just don't see why Apple doesn't look at some of the stuff that's being done other places and then say you know we gotta you know we gotta do some of that we gotta get up on that I mean they're stale now I mean my gosh man I'm an actual total Mac person total Mac guru whatever you call it I'm a fanboy all the way good and bad um, I don't know why people think fanboys are bad I mean I love Apple I love everything about it, everything they design. It, it takes, you know, the iPhone took, you know, almost four years to get completed. You know, um, uh, right now I can go inside here and go to this application right here. Let me see where it is. Do I have it up here? No. Uh, let me go. Let me see where I put it. I think it's at the bottom. I don't see it. Oh, crap. Got the new Iron Man 3. Yes, I did. Yes, sir. Let me find my app. What the heck? I'm to my rap. My app. My rap. <laughs> it's getting late. Okay, we got the hue. Now we got the nest. Now watch this. I'm controlling my air conditioner from right here. So I just set it to set 69, and it's going to turn on blue. You guys can hear it. But my air conditioner just came on. Now it's cooling to 69 degrees. So I'm 70. At, I'm at 71. And it'll cool right now. Now if I go up one, I need to cool it. Up, cool it down anyway. It's 71. It's going to go down to 72, 71. So this is what what does all that. So and then I've got the home area. Now if I flip it sideways, this is where I get my settings. And I can actually tap on my my, uh, my thermostat. See if I can do it from the side of my finger. So you've got all the little different things that it can do. Scheduling uh, settings I can't show you with one hand. But um, that's how you're able to do a lot of stuff from the side. I just replaced this module. I have another one over there in the box. I actually have two of these. Um, but I usually keep this up and running. But I'm using the phone right now. So that's how I cool my 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 whole house. So I have only one thermostat sitting outside, and you can see it, but I'm in bed. So yes, people, I'm doing this for my bed. And uh, you know, if you guys don't know that I I still am recovering from throat cancer, stage stage four, and God has blessed me so much. Um, and I just want to give him all the thanks, the glory for that. Uh, for healing me and I can be able to talk and and express to you guys let you guys see all the cool gadgets and you know you know ask me questions you know I, I'm full of just information that's trying to get out that's I think that's why I'm doing all this stuff you know and it's just kind of crazy how I don't I don't feel bad when nobody says something nice or or even comment or or when they actually, you know, when they got the haters on there and stuff. So, you know, now, I'm at Blink Feed, and I can always swipe to the side. It's a stupid thing to come back. Oh, it was trying to think from one side. So, I get, you got to hold it right. I can't be holding it the way I was holding it. So, there's, there. this is your actual app drawer. So, you can actually see the apps. So, you got all the nice apps there. What happens is, is my, um, my, my hand gets over there, and it, this, the screen is so sensitive that it, I can't move the screen because part of my, see, part of my hand was touching it, my, the inside of, of my palm, so that's why it wouldn't do it. So now, if I hold it straight up without touching anything, 
it'll scroll. There's my radio. That's a plug-in headphones. So you can hear it. I oh, think you can play it right now. Yeah, you gotta put your headphones in. So you have to go back, scroll up, or scroll down. I don't know. It's not working right now. I think I'm just too tired. So, anyway, see it opened up a file. <laughs> Stupid thing, man. Anyway, so there, there's the, there they all are. I got some really good ones. I got, of course, you gotta have to have Aptoid. That's where you get all your free games. Uh, I got Raw Manager. Uh, this is Rooted. Uh, I got Raw Manager. I got Super Users. Um, I got uh, Dropbox because that's where everything I have. I have over a hundred different hacks. I have all my ROMs on Dropbox, so all I gotta do is all my APKs. All, all of the things that I've downloaded are all up on my Dropbox. So I don't want to install anything on any phone from anywhere. I just log into Dropbox and install it. And that's what I do. So it is 11.54 p.m. in Mesa, Arizona. It is 72 degrees outside. And I got to go to bed. It's on vibrator because I turned the volume down by accident. And this thing is loud. It is so loud. But I'll let you guys go. It's 20 minutes now. 31 minutes I'm on this video. So this is my little work area. You know, this is where I hold my phones. And I keep my phones there. And then I got a couple. I got like eight more phones on the side over here. Then I got uh, my son's little iPod Touch 64 gig. Charging right there. And I got like, you know all sorts of brand new packaging of oh my gosh I got so much chargers and headsets and man it's it's crazy what I got on this desk and all the stuff that I do but there's the phone that's where I saw the phone I had to have this one haven't let it go yet I, I hope and pray that Apple does something like this if a phone like this can be done by HTC which is a Taiwanese company not seeing nothing bad about Taiwanese people, but you got to look and oh, here's another one. This is one of the other ones that I saw that was full screen, screen to screen. I mean, edge. Well, that's pretty much edge. I did see that one though. There's a lot of those. When there's a lot of concept designs running around, actually, there really is. Um, I got to find the other one that I just saw because I want to keep that one. I want to steal that picture. Um, so there is a lot of this stuff out there. There are so many people's designs that they think, oh, well, it's going to be this, it's going to be that. And there's some really, 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 I mean, really nice designs. People spend a lot of time designing some of these, these you know, I guess you would call them, like, demo phones or... or um, I can't think of the word. I mean, look at that one. I mean, it's all curved because we got the uh, information last year that Apple bought some kind of machine that, you know, curves glass. So we're going to have some kind of a curved iPhone in our hands. I don't know what that meant. That's kind of silly. All right, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's, it's all about, I guess, you know, the phones and the designs and the renderings of these phones that, that these people make you know trying to show off you know some really really cool stuff it's like this is one of the one this is one of the other ones that I saw where it was glass to glass that's the one I think I saw and see how thin, how thin it is that's actually the thing I, that's the one I saw I think the other one was more of a more of a better mock-up but that's pretty much what it was but it doesn't have an actual it's got the little button I think on the bottom yeah, yeah there it is see the button on the bottom see the little, little button right there where you're able to you're able to, to like slide your finger across it you just, there's no more button it's just a, a touch pad and you just have this little area to touch and, and do gestures and stuff and you tap on it of course and then your camera's up here um, I think the camera is on one of these sides oh it's right here it's on that side you guys can see that anyway 
that's that's the one I saw, and then of course that's black. But when you set mine up against it, I mean, it's pretty much the same exact design, except my screen's bigger. Mine's four point seven, and that's like a three point. They did something funky with that. It's not it's not the scale, but if you look at it, it's the, pretty much the same idea. Wow, it's even the same size. Look at that. Okay, guys. You guys can see me right there. Hello. My orange phone right there. So, that's what's up. I'm going to bed. I'm sleepy. I had a lot of stuff I got to do for you guys tomorrow. I got more videos I got to upload to my new Mac Media Studios YouTube page. Since the other guy messed me up um, saying that I copyrighted his video and it was all a misunderstanding and I gotta wait six months before my uh, my account can do more than 15 minute videos and monotonize and I got all screwed up because some guy thought the wrong thing so I'm going to bed and I will talk to you guys later and I'll have more stuff up on I'm gonna do a real review on this Android I'm gonna sit it down in front of me with my other cameras in my studio and when we do our actual reviews, I just not had time to do anything. I've been on websites, I've been on building, uh, I don't even wanna talk about it. So much stuff, so much stuff, so many phones, so many gadgets. I got a new um, wireless camera that's gonna uh, tie into my, um, my little challenge that I got to do the automation of my home. That's why I have the Nest, uh, $250 Nest uh, thermostat, learning thermostat. Uh, that's why I have the uh, Philips Lumina bulbs that are, uh, they're, uh, run off of a little a bridge module that connects to my router, my, uh, my Airport Extreme. Then it controls all the light bulbs in the house. So I've got a whole bunch of them in here and I can make them do crazy stuff. And here, let's do this. I'm going to show you this guy's live. Since, since my phone, since my, uh, my phone, since my, um, since my, my Mac went into sleep mode, you see the light, the light on over there. And I'm going to turn on my, my actual app, Hue. And I want you to watch. I can turn it off. So watch me. I'm going to hit this right over here. Um, boom, it's off. Turn it back on. So now it's back on. Now, if we do this, and this is for the, the climactic ending of our video, let's do this. I'm going to find a song that I'm pretty, sh pretty sure all of you guys like. Okay, let's do this. Are you ready? And I'm going to get my app ready. It's called Hue Disco. And here we go. And here's, an, here's another nice little treat that you guys probably have not seen my little toy back there and this is my jog wheel it programs everything it's either a jog wheel or it controls the volume you can control the volume with it up and down so that's what that is it is the Griffin Technologies is what it is it's a big old thing and it weighs a ton and the dial is like Oh my gosh, like, it's like turning like air. It's like so beautiful. It doesn't have clicks, very just smooth. So, I just started that up, and let's do this, because I'm going to be dark in here, and here we go. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, here we go. Yeah, 
Yo. There we go. That's enough, guys. All right, we're gonna cut it off. I'm gonna turn them all on right now, and we're back. All the lights are on. Yeah, so I got the Harlem Shake. We got the uh, HTC One. We're going crazy. What? What? So, and we got the iPhone Five here running the. Drove, and we got the two there, and we got our new thing there, and we'll go back tomorrow, and um, that's it. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.